How's everybody doing? Today we're we're sitting here at Spawn. We've got Josh and I. Josh running the camera. I'm going to be playing with this reel. And as you can see, we've got the the Tibor Everglades reel. And uh, by request, this reel is getting sent out. But they would like to have instead of a left hand retrieve, a right hand retrieve. And we thought it'd be cool to show you guys at home if ever you pick up an Everglades reel and you needed to switch from left to right or right to left, we want you to know how to do that the right way. First things first, jump on Tibor's website and print out the instructions and parts for the reel that you are trying to manipulate. So as you can see, we've, we've got here, um, we're gonna be switching this Everglades from a left hand retrieve to a right hand retrieve and this will give you all the the steps that you need to know and then on this side of course you have the diagram of the reel itself with a list of the parts and then as far as the tools that you're going to need you're going to need a penny a flathead screwdriver once you get into the reel and a little pair of tweezers because we are going to be removing some springs first things first here we have a, a stop nut and all that good stuff for the drag. We're going to slip that penny in there, loosen that stop nut, and undo it. And I've got two little towels here, and I'm just going to try to keep all the pieces on the left one and keep the clean reel on the right one, because these pieces are going to have um, some grease on them. So once you've got that stop, Go ahead and undo the rest of this drag knot here. Like so. And again, set over there with the parts and pieces. And that's what we're looking at. And at this point, you should be able to just slick that out of there. Maintain the, the screw on the other side. And put that where it's not going to get greasy or leave grease on something else. So now we're inside the reel. If you look closely, and I'll try to point this out, there are two little springs here. And I'm going to tilt one side. So what happens is this is known as the clutch dog, and this will have to be removed. So this screw comes out, this clutch dog gets removed, and then that spring is exposed. That spring needs to come over into the other side. And when we reinstall the clutch dog, that will turn the other way and keep that spring into here and still maintain where the click is. So, first things first, let's just go. Yeah. Thanks. And let's get this one undone. And be careful to keep as much of this grease where it is. And not so much just for keeping everything lubricated properly but this stuff is nasty when you get it on anything outside of, of the the reel here so we have our screw and we're going back in for that clutch dog and take your time be patient with it and there's some resistance from the wheel and that spring that want to hold it in place so let's just do one of these guys now and be careful at this point if there's a part that you are going to lose or drop, it's this spring. So I'm just going to go from top side. Remember, we've got that hole in the bottom side, and that's going to switch our retrieve for us once we've got that dog back in. And remember, this has to put pressure on that spring. So I'm going to try to stay out of your way, and I'm going to just compress the spring ever so slightly with my screwdriver like so get it in there and now I'll slip that dog in there and we've got pressure on the spring that little bit of grease is going to come out go back to our little screw and I told you that grease will get everywhere Okay. 
Just get them settled in there. And now we're back to the screwdriver. And tighten down, but we're not going to use a lot of pressure here. Make sure that's seated in the right spot too. Well, grease goes a long way. Just trying to keep the grease off this screwdriver. Excuse me. Almost getting some pressure right there and just a snug turn and that's it. And now we'll just do the other side. Removing that screw. And the different Tibor reels have a different way of, of changing the retrieve depending on the reel style. So just because you watch this, this is just for the Everglades. This is not going to work for the, the other reels. And this one's loaded with grease. Be as careful as we can. Screw. And now the clutch dog. And of course our lovely little spring. Get him out and switch to the other side. And this one looks like it's going to push back in a little bit easier than the other side. And of course I had to jinx it by mentioning that. There we go. So now once you've got that, that spring in there, it's just a matter of making sure that dog lines up so that it's going to keep pressure on the spring. And All right, you can see how much that, sp that spring has some pressure on it, but we're not too worried. And move this back into place where it wants to be happy. If you have three hands, now would be the time to use all three. But since we've got the standard issue two here, let's see if we can't manipulate that back in and keep that clutch dog down so that the teeth are grabbing in that wheel there we go and then just continue until it's snugged in there and there's our pressure snug and that's it so now you can see we started on this side each dog is now switched to the opposite side and that's going to reverse the drag system so that you can Go from left hand retrieve to right hand retrieve and and as far as putting everything back together I'm going to take our time nice and smooth here smooth and the only thing you have to line up is this little guy here and take your time don't don't try to force this and voila we're back in business so first thing first Put the nut back on. And you do want to tighten this all the way down. And there we go. And now we have our stop nut. Let me just make sure this is where I want it. Okay. Let's get that stop nut started back on there. And finish the way we started with the penny and just a little turn to make sure it's snug and there you go went from left hand retrieve and now right hand hand retrieve all day long hope you guys enjoyed that and again be sure to, to check manufacturer specs go to their website print out the sheet and you know if, if you pop one of those springs or lose it you're going to need to replace it and they can help you with that so I hope you guys enjoyed this, and if you did, please just remember to hit like and subscribe, and, and that'll help us out, and we'll see you guys on the water.